Ladies and gents, welcome to TFI. Just done a tutorial on embossing text onto a curved surface and the technique that I used in that video, which you can go check out because you might pick up some other things from that. But the technique that I used, I figured could be used for laser etched text on sheet metal and it works. So that's what this one's all about. Now this is an advanced tutorial. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. I'm not gonna explain anything as I go or any basics as I go. So uh, if you if you wanna keep up, you can do, but this is considered an advanced tutorial. So it's all about this, bit of metal with some text etched on it. It's not cutting through the metal, it's etching. So for example, I've seen various posts with regards to advice given on how to cut text through metal uh, using emboss, using extrude. Those techniques, emboss and extrude, don't work for etching. It just does not work. And there's also an idea station post out for laser text as well, which was some suggestions were given, but they just don't work 100%. So that's what this tutorial is about, which I feel does work 100% for getting your text etched onto sheet metal and then out as a DXF. So we're going to go into sheet metal and then we're going to create a new style. Like I said, this is advanced, so I'm not going to be explaining anything as I go. Well, within reason, but we're going to make a two mil thick profile and then we're going to save that and start a very simple sheet metal part. It's not going to be fancy at all it's just going to be a bit of metal that I can put text on so we're going to do uh, maybe a plate 250 by 250 and then let's finish that and then face this out at two mil thick and then just so it looks like metal <laughs> so it looks a little bit professional let's put a flange at the top and then a flange at the bottom that looks like metal mate that looks like metal to me okay we're going to then do a sketch and then this sketch is going to be the it's going to be the sketch for the text and we need to float this above the metal now you might be thinking well why can't you just sketch on the face it doesn't work you can try it you can try and prove me wrong but it just doesn't i have tried it but we're going to float this doesn't matter how high up as long as it's enough away so you can see what you're doing so i'm going to say 40 mil above the face of the metal and then we need to draw in a text box so the text box i'm not going to write an award-winning novel worth of text this is just going to be very simple so i get the point across so i'm going to type in three letters that are going to be etched onto the metal and then i'm going to make these quite large ladies so you can see the results pretty clearly. So we'll make those 100 in height, select all the letters, and then we're gonna justify them center and middle, and then hit okay, and then that gives us a nice big bit of text on the metal to get etched. Right, the next bit is uh, is the money maker. This is where the, the juiciness happens. So we need to select the text, right click on it, and then select convert to geometry. This explodes your text from being text entities into exploded lines unfortunately there's no font mapping though it doesn't retain the font that you used with the text it converts it to an shx font which inventor gives you a couple of dozen different fonts to use you can go to the internet and download your own shx fonts but you'll have to extract them into the right folder within the inventor installation directory which you can find pretty easily with minimal effort now there's a couple of fonts in here that i prefer some of them are like stick lines so if you scroll down you can see some of them are single stick line letters, which might be fine, that might be what you're after. But some of them are serif fonts, like for example, Times Out is a serif full body font with, with a profile, it's got a solid profile inside it. I like that one. Some of them are a bit funky and they give you internal lines as well, like offset versions of the external lines. You'll have to either delete the internal lines if you go for this one, or just use the outer lines manually by selecting them. So to avoid doing that, I'm gonna pick one of the easier SHX fonts times out which is a nice font i do like that one click ok and then it explodes your font into that single line shx style font once that's done a couple of extra things to do all of these lines are just segments that's no good to anybody you could go around manually constraining it but ain't nobody got time for that so i'm going to pick up all of these lines and create a block using all of the lines in the text i think i've missed uh one of the edges there so let's do that again we'll pick all of those lines up and then using the insertion point of there we'll create all of those as a block, which should let us pull it around as one manageable object. That makes things a lot easier. Next thing I'm gonna do, next thing I'm gonna do is completely optional, but I'm gonna make sure that this text is smack bang in the middle of the metal. What you're doing might not need to be in the middle of a profile. You might want it up at the top, down at the bottom, but for me, I want it right smack bang symmetrical in the middle. So I'm gonna create a two point rectangle, which is gonna be of a construction variety. And it's gonna go from the top left, approximately to the bottom right, approximately. And then I need to put a couple of constraints on here because that text is going to be, yeah, it's, that's wonky. So we're going to horizontally align the top of the T and then I'm just going to drop that in the middle so it's almost in position and then horizontally align that to there and then vertically I'm going to align that to there and then that's our text in place. 
So finish your 2D sketch. The next step is a little bit weird, but this is the bit that makes it work. You want to go into 3D sketch, and then we're going to use project to surface. What we're going to be doing is projecting the edges of the text, the outer profile of the letters down onto the metal. And this is what you need to do for this to work. So we're going to select the face that we're going to project down onto, and then we're going to select curves, look straight down on the text. We'll pick the top face of the cube. Actually, let's rotate that around. So for the curves, we're going to put a bounding box from left to right all the way around the letters that does pick up the edges of the rectangle so you've got to hold down shift and deselect the edges of the rectangle zoom in and deselect that one as well for the direction you need to tell it what the trajectory is for the projection so you can pick the face which will project it straight down or you can pick the z-axis which depends it depends which face you're projecting on you, you might it might not be the z-axis it depends which direction your text needs to go the easiest way is just to pick the face hit OK, and then there you go. It's projected your text straight down onto the metal. And these yellow lines here are the ones that we're going to be using. So you can finish that sketch, and then we can now switch off some of the entities that we don't need. So that work plane and that sketch there, we can disable the visibility of those. And then now we're going to hit the 3D model tab up, go to split. And then, I know there's quite a few steps, but it does work quite well. Hit split, and we're going to use these letters here, which are now all single selectable objects, to split that face. So the split tool is going to be the first letter, and the face is going to be the face on the metal. Right, that consumes the sketch, but if you just expand the split feature and then re-enable or share that sketch, that'll allow you to reuse it. Split, hit the F, hit the face, apply, repeat, I, face, apply. Good, that's it done. Got your 3D sketch, turn the visibility of that off, and then there's your text etched into your metal, and that's it. So depending on what you're doing, if you do need to cut the letters into the metal, you can't use face, you can't use emboss, you can't use anything like that, but what you can do is create a 2D sketch on that, that split face. Use project geometry, project the letters of the T through, for example, if you just want to cut the T, uh, you can actually do all three letters at this point if you want to, but then use cut and then extrude through by a set distance of say 0.5 mil, and that will engrave your letter into the metal uh, using that technique. So that's something you can do, but for this example, I'm not gonna be doing that. We're just gonna leave it as split faces, which are laser etched. Right, that's it. All you gotta then do is create a flat pattern, which is the complete wrong way of doing it, Neil. Hit that face and then hit your flat pattern and then that gets the right orientation. Once your flat pattern's done, you can right click on that flat pattern and then save that out as a DXF. I'm gonna drop that on the desktop, DXF, and I'm gonna call it FP for flat pattern and then boosh. Job's good. Let's go to AutoCAD and then open up FP on the desktop and there's your flat pattern with the laser etch text in the DXF. So that's how you do it. Sorry, I was a bit fast. I know it was a bit fast, but I could have labored on that for hours talking about each step individually, but it is quite advanced. Hopefully, if you are familiar with most of what I've been doing there in Inventor, that will make sense and you know what the technique is. But that's laser etch text. You can also do it over bends. You can do it over bends. So for example, if you were to create, um, this isn't gonna work, but if you were to do this before I created the text, create a bend line going across the metal, for example, and then go to uh, fold, and then fold your metal like so, you can unfold it back flat and then do the text and then refold it and the text will remain. Notice how it's cut out the, the etch line. What the fold command needs is a preserve all features function to keep the split, but unfortunately it doesn't. But you can do that before you put the text on, refold it and that'll work. Some fonts it doesn't quite like. If It's it's hit and miss. That's why I didn't include it in this tutorial, but it's a little bit hit and miss at times. So there you go. That's laser etch text in sheet metal using 3D sketching split and uh, export now with DXF. Hope that was useful for somebody, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.